Welcome back. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jamie. And I'm Matt. And where adventure keeps calling my name. Uh, tonight we're talking about the best things about cruising. I'm going to go first here. I've got a list here and Jamie has her own list. But the first thing on my list is that everything is usually laid out for you on a cruise. In other words, there's no decision making as to what restaurant you want to go to. Because we can time. never agree on that. <laughs> <laughs> there is a lot of uh, discussion on the restaurant type. So you go to a restaurant and they always have multiple types of food available. So everyone can find something they want and it's always good food. Yeah. Um, but you need to make sure that you pay attention to what's going on. They have the... Uh, the daily activities usually on a on paper in your room or a lot of cruise lines now have apps that have everything from the menu to the events and you can click on it and it will send you a reminder through the app that hey trivia is starting in 15 minutes you said you wanted to go so just you know keep abreast of what's going on so you don't miss out yeah um, my first thing is no cell coverage you don't have to get those phone calls from telemarketers or from teachers or bad news from your adult kids at home or Amazon sending me a thousand text messages. Um, no cell coverage. Your phone becomes a camera and that's it. Right. And that's, uh, that's nice too. The second thing I have on my list is that someone does all your daily chores. So they are going to take care of your cooking, your cleaning, your dishes, all those things that bog us down or take up time in all of our lives. They're already taking care of us, so that's nice. That is really nice. And all the moms know how great it is to have someone else plan the meal, even. You know, even though you like cooking, just planning it can be really bogging you down. Um, my second thing on my list is meeting new people. Um, get out of your comfort zone, and you're sitting someplace, and somebody comes and sits down, and you're like, hey, I'm Jamie from so-and-so. Who are, you know, what's your story? Who are you? And you can meet some really fun people. We've made some really good friends on cruises that we stayed in touch with. Yeah, yeah, I had that on my list also. The new people, being able to sit, maybe you're in a lounge or you're listening to some music, or maybe you're just on the on the deck. And uh, it is fun just to get to know people, even if it's just for 15, 20 minutes. And you see them periodically throughout the week, and you, know, you say a few things and acknowledge each other, but it's, uh, it's fun to do that. And you don't even really have to remember their name. We were on one trip, that we met somebody from Tennessee and Matt was wearing a Pittsburgh Pirate shirt. So then every time we saw him throughout the trip, it was, hey, Pittsburgh, hey, Tennessee. <laughs> and that was fine. You didn't need any more intimacy than that. Right, so that's a good time. Next on my list is a new location at every stop. So there's no driving, no airports, no buses, taught taxis, any of that kind of stuff. You're in a new location each night. Um, or else you're in the middle of the ocean, too, on which the sea good. days, which yeah. is still good. But every time you stop, you're at a new location. It's not really up to you to figure out how to get there. They take you there, they drop you off, and you do what you want then. I have that on my list, too, that you unpack once and you visit lots of places. Your cruise ship is not only your hotel, it's also your transportation. So I go to sleep tonight in Grand Turk, and I wake up tomorrow in Grand Cayman. And it's great because I'm already unpacked, I'm comfortable. And no matter how hot, humid, you know, tired I get in port, I come back to a luxurious cruise ship that's air conditioned and has great food for me when right. I get back there. Right. Um, my my um, fourth thing on my list is there's events for the whole family. The kids have their own special club and the adults have their own special areas. But there's also dance contests and dance parties for families and scavenger hunts for families. So you can be together as much as you want or apart as much as you want. And nobody complains about getting to do their own thing. That's true. The last thing on my list is new foods. When you go to the restaurants, they'll always have some things that you may not be accustomed to. Soups, salads, main entrees, or maybe even just desserts. Those are always usually top of the line. I've been on very few cruises. I didn't care for the food. So... Gives you an opportunity to try some things that you would never order at home at a restaurant or even think about cooking at home. So that's always a good time. That's the last thing on my list too, is new food and new drink. On our very first cruise, one night at dinner, we were pretty young. We were, you know, less than 30. Um, on our very first cruise, uh, at dinner that night, escargot was on the menu. That's snails. And I'm a girl from small town Kentucky. And I live in small town western Pennsylvania, and I don't have a lot of opportunities to try something like escargot. But we're on the ship, it's on the menu, and I think, hey, if I don't like it, I've already paid for it. I'm not out anything. 
If I had tried that at a land restaurant, 18, 20 bucks, I don't even know. But I was I had nothing to lose. I take a bite, I don't like it, I'm done. If I take a bite, I love it, hey, I've learned something. And it's the same thing with drinks. They have smoothies and mixed drinks and different types of beer and you can try it. If you don't like it, you know, it's not that big of a loss if you don't like it. Yeah. So um, those are our best things. There are more best things and worse things, so the next video is probably going to be shorter. But we like cruising so much that we're getting ready for like, what, our 26th, 27th cruise? Yeah. I don't know. But it's a, it's a 14 night cruise. So, um, yeah, we like cruising and we think there are more best things than worst things. Yeah, but we'll, uh, we'll put up a new video here at the worst things. There are some things, some drawbacks, and we'll uh, explain and explore those. So thanks for joining us. Like, comment, and subscribe. Um, we'd love to hear from people, so leave us a comment. We'll read it and be happy to hear from you. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye-bye now.